What did KSM tell you about deception? Well, he said that he, he said that uh, uh, deception in Islam is expected. You know that basically, let's see if I can remember the order of them. There's jihad by the sword, and you can use deception to, much as we have done in our military, to feign and to, and, and to lure your uh, enemies into traps. And then there's jihad by the hand, and in jihad by the hand, what you could do is. Um, if you couldn't fight, then you were expected to use your money and to use your organizations and that sort of stuff. So you could set up an organization that in theory uh, uh, collected money for charities and did that. It was necessary that you actually do that, but part of that money went off to the side. Maybe even the bulk of that money went off to the side to support jihad. You know? And then there was uh, uh, de deception of the, uh, I think it was of the tongue. Where Jihad of the tongue, yeah. Huh? Jihad of the tongue? Yeah. So, yes, and the deception there was that you basically said things that sounded like um, you were agreeing with the infidel, like Islam is a religion of peace, when you know in your mind and in your heart that the only way there's going to be peace is if Sharia law is in the whole world, or Islam doesn't want to kill innocents, or, and then in your head you know that to be innocent, you first have to be a Muslim, right? And then you have to be killed within a certain range of time before you get to make a choice about it. Mm -hmm. So th these folks go back to that, uh, uh, these dormant traditions and mm -hmm. try to breathe new life. And he told you that actually that he saw Muslims condemning the 9-11 attacks and he understood why they were doing it. Well, he understood why they were doing it and he, and he, and he said he, thought, he saw them rejoicing in their eyes and in their heart. Um, that's what he said.